beauty of Ford and the Ono system was they had hardly any supervision required on the shop floor. The system was so robust that they worked without any management intervention. They did not require many managers all over. That is the simplicity of a priority system. In our practices or our scientific practices of management or production management, there are at least four to five methods mentioned how to change priority. If there are four to five items or work orders in the pipeline, how are you going to decide which item has become urgent? The simplest is the earliest due date first. Some make it still more sophisticated to say the total time required to manufacture and the time already passed. The one which has got the least time left st start with that. So setting a priority system can lend itself into a Herculean task of deciding which is better and the best for my company. But the idea again remains same that how to make a simple system of setting priority which is going to work. Let us say what we did. We have the throughput time and we know that the touch time in this throughput time is still let us say 10 percent. So if it is only 10 percent, what are the chances of the majority of orders to be on time? Definitely not 100 percent and definitely not 20 percent. So it will happen that a fair amount of orders because of the stability in the system or enough cushion in the system that they will be out very early. Very early would mean they would be there on the shipment dock before one third of the total lead time to produce, assume lead time to produce was utilized. Naturally not all, some would be taking slightly more time than that, but still with a fair amount of certainty we can say a lot would consume not more than two thirds of the total available lead time or the throughput time that we have assumed. And there would be some who could consume more than two thirds. This is the basis of designing this priority system. A priority system that takes all the orders, puts them into three blocks or three sections and for visual identification you can give them colors and depending on the color or the band they are in, we decide our actions. Now if the system is stable and good, majority of the orders should have only consumed one third of the total time allotted. But if the system is a bit unstable, then the majority of the orders will consume between one third and two thirds. But if the system is totally unstable, then the majority of the orders will consume more than two thirds. The priority system should be helping us, helping us from avoiding any missed due dates. It should warn us rather than tell us that you have missed a due date. So the priority system, if put in place as an early warning system, is going to help this time based system 
in taking a timely action. What I mean by this is, can this time-based action also tell us what are the chances of a particular order getting out of the system on time or not? Now, this is where the right corrective action can take place. It can happen that at a particular time there is a slow production rate or there is a quality problem or there is a breakdown. Any variation can be termed as Murphy. When we say Murphy, that means there is uncertainty in the system and we cannot predict where and when such deviations from normal will take place. So, if a system is robust enough to warn me and the same system also tells me what to do with this warning, the priority system would be good enough to support the time based control that I was looking to stop overproduction. The throughput time inventories are related. My confidence in the throughput time has gone up because I am going to avoid the queuing up. But I have only taken care of one aspect of the throughput time or to disruptions to flow that is the blockages part. The disruptions to flow are also quality related as we have talked before. Now these is what are going to be clubbed together and be called Murphy and my priority system is going to help me monitor this. So mind you, even by having a robust system like this, there is no guarantee that all your orders will be out on time. Because if by some mechanism you have managed to overload your system, that means the resource required, the load required, the load coming on the resources is more than the capacity it has, there is no way that you are going to meet your due dates. Assuming that you have not overloaded your resources, then the time based approach is much stable and can also be applied everywhere.